It is an interesting problem to have. All right, we'll uh, take a turn now to check out our work week forecast here. Today was really nice. Real nice day. We have at least two more that are going to be pretty similar. Okay. Maybe a little warmer even by Tuesday. Uh, so nice weather on the way. It was a beautiful way to wrap up the week. And you can see seaside right now, a few clouds out there. Temperatures in the mid 60s. And uh, if you wanted to, you know, find some air that was a bit cooler, uh, the coast is definitely the place to be at this time, especially if you're in central Oregon right now where those temperatures are just about 90 degrees. Uh, great day to be out there. Not as busy, I believe, of last weekend when they have the seaside volleyball tournament. It was packed then. Uh, Stoller right now, still uh, an event going on. All the cars parked in the field there. Clear sky at this time yesterday was a bit clouded over, so it's nice to see the blue sky again uh, reappearing for our Sunday. Um, here's what we have going on as we do look forward, as I mentioned there at the desk to Emily. Temperatures will be climbing in the next few days. Not too bad tomorrow. I think probably only into the lower 80s, but Tuesday we might actually see the upper 80s to maybe even close to 90 degrees for some locations. Uh, I think it might be a too cloudy to get to 90, but we'll at least keep it in the forecast for now. Uh, and then with that, with that huge temperature gradient, I, I believe that we'll probably have some windy days coming out of the eastern section of the gorge. Uh, probably about Wednesday and Thursday because of this cold front that's going to arrive. And with that, that could also bring in a chance for some rain showers Wednesday evening for us here in the valley and definitely for areas of the Oregon coast. We're at 77 degrees right now in Portland. We could get an extra bump to about 80. We'll see if we get there. 81 coming out of Salem and Eugene at 84 and a pair of eights out of Pendleton and lower 90s out of Central Oregon right now from Bend to Redmond. And you can see Baker City here at 93 degrees, making for a pretty steamy Sunday afternoon. This evening, if you're going to be out, nothing but a clear sky in Portland. Uh, nice backdrop there of seaside, of course. 68 coming out of 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Our temperature's right around 64 degrees. We've had a really tame kind of system going on right now as far as the jets. No big uh, bumps in the road, you could say. But we will have this area of low pressure that's going to cut in and start to develop as we go through the next couple of days. You can see that cooler air right here here and that's going to swing a front right on through as we head into Wednesday and that's going to be when we have uh, a chance for a little bit of moisture here and that will probably kick us over the one inch mark for August which we haven't seen very much. Uh, some very warm air that's been up in Alaska will also cool on down and it'll bring back to uh, some of their normal type of temperatures for this season. Then we balance back out and by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, I think we're just back to the 80s or near average temperatures. So here's 5 p.m. on our Sunday. Uh, yeah, dry. Tomorrow morning, I do want to say we still have a bit of a marine influence, so a possibility for some morning cloud coverage uh, kind of uh, seeping through the cracks there into areas of Portland as possible tomorrow morning. The biggest thing will probably be a little bit of patchy drizzle for the coast likely go uh, going to be pretty dry by the time we get to the afternoon hours for you folks there. Here's Tuesday and noticed all the cloud coverage there. Uh, that's going to be the maybe the factor that will keep us below 90 degrees on Tuesday, maybe only mid to upper 80s. And then here's that front on Wednesday and it looks like a lot of moisture here and right behind it. Dry air moves in pretty quick, uh, but this will move in right around the afternoon evening hours, probably produce a decent amount of rain for us. And then it uh, will dry up quickly by Thursday and Friday and then we're back to kind of smooth sailing from that point on with nothing but sunshine and some warmer temperatures. OK, so here's the zone uh, planner for tomorrow. Uh, again, it's Apache drizzle in the morning, but I think you'll have some sunshine and some breaks in the afternoon, about 70 degrees. So I have us in the lower 80s in the valley, a nice sunny sky, the gorge 84 and over towards uh, Madras and Bend right around 90 degrees again. And Wednesday is going to be a tricky day. I'm watching the temperatures because if that front arrives early, it might be a bit cooler, but I have us in the upper 70s and then maybe a chance for a lingering shower Thursday morning. OK, I would love for that front to arrive right in the middle of the week there. So mm -hmm. it doesn't rain on any weekend plans. I, yeah, so far it's uh, it's going to be good. OK, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joseph. Coming up.